Hi guys, welcome to Johnny Mathematics. I'm doing a series of videos um, at the moment that are targeting those level six questions, level six and seven questions that are really accessible on the higher level paper. It should make your uh, revision that much easier. And as usual, I've got my fantastic helper, Nina, okay, who has not seen this topic before, and I'm gonna be kind of teaching her this live, okay? I'm gonna be teaching her this live. So, could you um, put the heading, please? Recurring decimals, so it's really converting recurring decimals to fractions. Okay, something in my eye there, right. So I've got three examples here, starting from the easiest, going to the one of the harder questions here, okay? So, and there's one more thing at the end, there's an exam question which I'm going to get to when we've done these and we practice some, okay? You'll see what I mean if you, if you stay with me with the video, okay? So, I find, in order to make sense of this, that if I write 0.8 with a dot above it recurring, uh, what does that actually mean, uh, Nina? Um, 0.8, yeah. So I'm just going to write a few of these out like that. Okay. Um, I'm going to write a few of them out, and that will sort of help me with, with the next bit of it. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you how to do the first one, and then you'll see the pattern, what, what's kind of going on. Um, if I said, what is 10 times 0.8 recurring, um, Nina, what would that make, please? Um, like 8. So you times by 10, you, it binds one place to the right. So 8 point what, sorry, Nina? 8. 8.8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. So that's with a dot on it. Happy? Okay. Um, that's 10 of them. Now, if I choose one of them, what's that going to be, Nina, please? 88.8. .8. If you times anything by one, what do you get? Um. <laughs> Nina, please. What's one times five? Oh, five. What's one times ten? Ten. <laughs> What's one times x? X. Well done. What's one times 0 0.8 recurring? 0 0.8. <laughs> yeah, well done. Oh, Nina, what are we going to do with you? Um, okay. So, look the way I've set it out quite carefully, and I've lined up the decimal points, or, or I should have done, and I'm kind of doing that on purpose. Okay. Now, um, Nens, if I... Um, take this away, we got 10 of them and we take away one of them, how many of them are we left with? Nine. Nine of them. So 10 to take one is nine. So nine of them equals, well, if we take it away, if you take that away, what are you going to end up with, please, Nina? Eight. Eight. Because what, what happens is all these point eight 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 here, they all kind of cancel out, don't they, when you take them away, okay? So you're left with eight. Now, you should know, if you're going for higher, that um, what's the opposite of times, Nina? Divide. So the nine is timesed on that side, so it is divided on the other. Depending on how you've been taught, you've probably been taught divide both, nine, um, both sides by 9, okay? Which gets rid of the 9 on that side. So 0 0.8 recurring equals 8 over 9, okay? So I'm going to apply this to the two trickier questions, okay? Or rather, you are, Nina, okay? So... Um, what's the first thing I do above it, please, Nens? 
Um, you write what it means. And um, what is it? 0 0.4... 7777. Just, just to try and make sense of it, okay? Um, now, the, the key is, right, when you take them away, you've got to line up the recurring decimal. And then when you take it away, they will disappear, okay? So, have you got any idea at all what you might times it by this time? Me? Yes, you, Nina. Um, a hundred? Let's see what happens. Okay, so a hundred times 0 0.47 recurring, what's that make, Bruce? Um, 47.7. Let's have a look. Boing, boing. Yeah, I agree. 47.7. Recurring, um, I agree. And we now need to times 0 0.47 recurring by something so that all these 0.7777s are lined up on the next one down. Any any ideas? Um, would it be by 10? Very good. Yeah, um, you're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, spot on. Well done. I, I didn't think you'd get this to be honest, Nina. I'm quite, I'm actually quite impressed. Well done. So if you times it by ten, you're going to get four point seven recurring, aren't you? Okay. What do you think you're going to do next? Take them away. Take it away. So go on. How many are you going to be left with? So ninety. So ninety of them. Equals what? Take that away. Oh, um, 43. It's 43, isn't it? Because the point sevens are going to be a disappear, and 47 take 4 is 43. Then, Nina, finish this off, please. Uh, what's 0.47 um, going to equal, please? Oh, um, it would be 43 over 90. 43 over 90, because the opposite of times is divide, or divide both sides by 90, okay? Um, as soon as you see that, you've always got to ask yourself what question, Nina, please? Oh, can it simplify? Can it simplify? And I, I'm pretty sure it can't, okay? Because 43 is a prime number, isn't it? And three won't go into it, into it. Always check for threes, okay? People will always miss the threes. Um, okay, here we go. What do I do next, please, Nina? Um, write it above. What's it mean? Six. Um, eight, one, eight, one, eight, one. Okay, like that. Um, good. And... Well, what do you think I'm going to times it by first, please? Um, is it a thousand? Let's, let's see what happens. A thousand times that equals 681.81. And those bits, keep, those bits keep repeating, don't they? Okay. Um, and what do you think you're going to times it by next, please? Um, a hundred. Okay. Is that going to be right? Times by a hundred? See, if you times by a hundred, that's going to be boing, boing. That's going to actually give you 68.18 which isn't going to take away, is it? So I think timesing by 10 is going to be is going to be your best option, okay? So if we do that, we get 6.81. Okay? 6.81. Um, and take it away. Go on, Nina. 1000 take 10. 900 
990, yeah, spot on. And that is going to equal um, 675, isn't it? Check me, Nina. Yeah. That's right, isn't it? So 0 0.681 equals 675 over 990. Will that simplify? Yes. And that will definitely simplify. And you can keep dividing by 5. And you, you're going to end up with 15 over 22. So, look, I've, I've done quite a few examples on purpose because you need to see a few to see the pattern as to as to what is kind of going on um, really you need to practice some okay there's absolutely no doubt you need to practice some so um, what I'm going to do I want to leave these on the board at the same time is I'm going to ask three questions and I want you to try and do them, please. Question one, question two, and something a little bit different, question three. That one there, okay? Do pause the video and have a go at these questions, please. Okay, let's see if you let's see if you got um, them right. Um, the answers are seven over nine, um, eleven over thirty, and the tricky one, the last one, eight over 37 okay 8 over 37 well done if you got those right now as i promised at the beginning of the video this the question can be asked in two ways it will ask you to convert a recurring recurring decimal to a fraction okay and that will be three mark question or alternatively it will um say something else okay so i'm gonna get rid of this and i'm gonna use the last question as an example okay so how much time do we have here please um 13 just about. okay right we're doing all right so you need to get used to um, the, the words, the exam questions, and the question is going to say, okay, prove, so copy this down please, So the question is going to say, um, prove algebraically that 0 0.216 um, recurring can be written as 8 over 37. Okay. And what you need to do is you need to um, do the skill. So let's do the skill that we, we've just learned that I've tried to teach you here. So um, Nina, let's go through this please. Uh, what's the first thing I'd do? Um, you would put it above. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we need to decide, don't we? Uh, what you do. What do you suggest? Um, You're going to times it by. I know you've not practiced these, have you, Nina? Um, I thought. Yeah, and, and after 
after a while you just get a feeling for what is going to work. That is pretty good, Nina, actually. And that's going to be 216.216. Now, what are you going to times it by, Nina, so that those decimals are lined up, please? Um, would it be 10? Thing is, if you times it by 10, you're going to get 2.162. You actually times it by one, okay? Yeah. So if you times that by one, you get that, okay? And when you take that away, we're obviously going to get 999 of them equals um, 216. And 0 0.216 equals 216 over 999. Now, when we simplify all that, okay, um, when we simplify all that, we will end up with 8 over 37, I hope. I'm sure we do, okay, I'm confident. 8 over 37. And you may be sat at home thinking, right, well, hang on a minute, he's not done it algebraically, okay? If you do it just like this, it's a three mark question, you're probably gonna get two out of three, okay? Um, all you have to do to answer this question is at the beginning, go, um, go, 0.216 equals x, okay? And every time you see 0 0.216, I think we can do this, you're going to replace it with x, like that. So, I would suggest you do it in pencil and then rub it out possibly and replace the number with x and you've turned it now into into a proof question okay what do you think nina yeah yeah happy look it's the same with all these techniques i don't think that is it and you, you've got it sussed i think in a few days time you need to practice this technique again at least five or six times in order for it to stick in, in my kind of experience, okay? Um, that was it. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and uh, like the videos. It might encourage me to do some more. Who knows, eh? Um, thank you for watching.